my name is Carl Baker and this is my bio. I'm 25 years old. I was born and raised in Naperville, Illinois. I'm the son of Charles and Emily Baker and I have one younger sister, Jennifer. Jennifer was adopted from China when she was an infant. Uh, I have a bachelor's degree in U.S. history from the University of Illinois at Champaign. My parents are both U of I alums. Um, after graduating, I worked on the Obama campaign for a year. Working for Obama's campaign was probably the most amazing experience of my life. And uh, Obama won, by the way. I'm currently in grad school, a PhD program in political science at Brown University, and I hope to someday teach at a college. Um, what else? Uh, I, my junior year of college, I came out as a gay man, proud gay man here. But it wasn't until last year that I finally came out to my parents. My mom has been totally cool about it. She's so supportive. Uh, my sister Jen insisted that she always knew. And dad, uh, dad's uh, less than thrilled about me being gay. It's, it's pretty awful. Anyway, I'm having an incredible summer. Granted, I am staying with my folks. Of course, I'm hardly there. I have this uh, great internship at the Chicago offices of the American Civil Liberties Union, and I'm dating someone. His name is Angel, and we met online, and I like him a lot. I, I don't want to get too serious about things because I am going back to Brown soon, but uh, we're spending a lot of time together, and he's... Uh, Angel's very special. And I think that's all for now. What does it mean to be an American? Gosh, well, it, it means a lot. Uh, it means being a part of a great human experiment, a grand undertaking that in many respects is unique in the history of nations. Uh, being an American means that I'm part of something dynamic, uh, evolutionary, a work in progress. You know, the United States is a diverse nation made up of peoples from all corners of the globe, all, all races, all creeds, working to achieve a just society. And as an American, I celebrate and, and learn from my country's diversity. Out of many, we are one. For me, my Americanness is all about ideals. Uh, it's all about equality, uh, fairness, empathy. And without empathy, we are not a people. It's all about believing in democracy, in human rights, in civil rights. Growing up, Dad was my hero. I looked up to him. I, I adored Dad. I held on to his every word like it was gospel. I, what little boy wouldn't? He, Dad was a leader. He helped people. He helped build a community. Public service was my dad's life source. It was, still is. <laughs> God, what's with all the past tense here? Um, it's because I'm my father's son that I am passionate about politics. That I have a passion for ideas that I stand up for my convictions. Those were the gifts my father gave me. But then I go away to college, 18 years old, chip off the old block, apple of my dad's eye, ready to become precisely the man that he wants me to be. So I join the campus Republicans. I date a few girls, big disasters. I try and do everything that will make my dad proud except majoring in American history. Uh, Dad thought that I should focus my energies instead on making history. All of a sudden, uh, Dad wasn't right about everything. In fact, he was wrong about things, lots of things, dead wrong. Ideas once so sacrosanct and pure became flawed and inconsistent, full of contradictions and double standards. Not to mention uh, racist, sexist, classist, and yeah, really homophobic. Dad, I'm a liberal. I'm a progressive, Dad. 
Dad, I think I may have some Marxist tendencies. Uh, you know what? Scratch that, Dad. I think I'm leaning more anarchist. Dad, I'm a feminist. Dad, I'm gay. Yep, that's right, Dad. I'm a queer. Uh, growing up in my dad's house, I think the only thing worse than being a liberal was being a liberal homosexual. And those two space aliens had just body snatched his son. And as strong and resolute and determined a man as he taught me to be, I didn't possess sufficient armor to fend off his rejection, his disappointment, his anger, his shame. And I lacked the stamina to reverse course, or at least hide my lifestyle choices. You know, what, just keep it out of the public eye, son. You're going to kill my political career. Yeah, it's all about you, Dad. Once again, good old Republican DuPage County is hating on minorities. And this time, it's the Muslims we hate. Yep, we're all up in arms because the Muslims want to build a mosque in Naperville. My dad, lo and behold, is leading the crusade against the Muslim invaders. Pathetic. Hey folks, this is America. And in America, we have a constitution. And the constitution has a Bill of Rights. And the Bill of Rights guarantees freedom of religion. Not freedom of just one religion, but freedom of all religions, including the ones that we don't particularly like on any given day. You see, in America, people of faith build houses of worship. And it, it's true, I'm not making this up. And Islam, you know, that religion practiced by over a billion and a half people, it too requires houses of worship. So, why do the bigots on the DuPage County Board want to obstruct the building of mosques? Because that's what bigots do. Oh, sure, they'll tell you that it's all about zoning and traffic and congestion and property taxes and noise and whatnot. But what it's really about is fear and racism. Anti-Muslim racism. Racism as in the reason white people bolted from Chicago to DuPage County in the first place. It's all about scapegoating, law-abiding, tax-paying American citizens. Fellow Americans. Now, I have some friends who call themselves liberals. They're not like those mean-spirited DuPage County Republicans, oh no. And these faux liberal friends of mine will ask me how it is that I can support the building of mosques when Muslims are so adamantly anti-gay. Well, first of all, not the Muslims I know. The Muslims I know are pro-gay rights. Secondly, if supporting gay rights was criteria for permission to build in this country, then, uh, well, uh, I think the buffalo might still be roaming these parts. Thirdly, the people who stand in between me and full citizenship in this country, the people who obstruct my life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, are people who call themselves Christians. Not Muslims, okay? Look, if we believe in the U.S. Constitution, if we believe that we are a nation of laws, if we believe that U.S. citizenship is worthy of the ideals it promotes, then we believe that Muslims have the right to build as many mosques as they like, free of intimidation and harassment. If not, then we better start adding exclusionary clauses to the Bill of Rights. Or better yet, scrap the whole thing. 